What's going on, YouTube? This big pouncer coming at you again with a nut. Figured I'd make a little video today of some some brand new footwear that I have acquired. And this is what I'm gonna walk in this year when I'm in the dead woods. Now, I had probably, boy, I, I ain't no telling how many comments I had of people telling me, oh boy, you need hip boots, you need boots. You need, you need something to walk in the woods with get the, for the snakes and then all. Man, I ain't worried about no doggone snake. What I've learned with snakes is if you're looking for them, you go find them. You don't look for the snakes, you walk right by them. I ain't, boy, I, I, I'm glad I don't know how many snakes that I really do walk by in them briars. Because they'd probably scare you. But, you know, the pencil family, I guess, is most famously known around our parts for for walking in the woods with no shoes on. Daddy used to hunt. That's all he ever, he never did wear shoes when he hit the woods when he was younger. He'd always wear no shoes walking out in the, in the briars in the swamp and wherever. That was a... My brothers had people from other states saying, well, you, that, you old pencils boy, barefoot pencil. Said, yep, that's him. Sure enough. Running around with no shoes on all the time. But, uh, and I, I've walked in the briars and, and in the swamp a good bit with no shoes on myself, but I would prefer to have shoes on, at least tennis shoes on. But, uh, it was... When Daddy killed that eight point last year in that swamp, when me, Daddy, and Callie went in that swamp to get that, to get that buck out of there, to get in there to, work. now, to get back in there to where Daddy was at, I was following his his tracks to get back in there. Well, about halfway to him, the shoe tracks ran out and the feet tracks started. He done took his shoes off and was walking up through that barefoot because that mud down there you sink up past your ankles in mud every time you step and so they'd suck right off your feet regardless but i didn't take nobody's advice but my own because there's three different reasons as to why i don't wear hip boots when i go in the woods down there dog driving and the first reason is they're too doggone heavy you get to walking two or three miles like I do every Saturday in them woods, and they get mighty heavy after between walking through the mud and the water and, and ripping up through briars to, to get to where the dad's laying at. It just ain't worth staying dry to me to do that. <laughs> Second reason is I always get wet anyway. Whether the water's slushing up on my behind or, or I trip up and fall down and my boots fill up with water and then you got an extra 10 pounds of water walking around with you. So that it just ain't worth it to me to do that. And the third reason is I'm a whole lot faster with tennis shoes on. <laughs> I can move up through them briars just as fast as anybody with tennis shoes on. Boy, I get to wearing them them hip boots or snake boots or anything like that. It just takes too long to put them on. And, and I don't need all that extra weight to come down with me and all. I don't need all that. So what I'm going to show you now, the official, official BB1s. Briar Beta 1s. I say ones because this is the first ones that I bought. Now I doubt, I doubt these things is gonna last long with me running in them. But hey, had to get these with that sweet Velcro action. See that sweet Velcro action? Because with regular old tennis shoes, I was every 10, 20 yards, I was having to stop to retie my shoes. With these here, no more tying of shoes. You just snap them buggers closed and you good to go. You can walk for miles without having to worry about tying your shoes. I'm going to give them a go. I got these old things from Walmart. $14 from Walmart. If I, if I get through half the season without ripping the soul slam off of them, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> but, that's it. Them BB1s, that's going to be the ticket. Then you need to go get you a pair right now. Dang a pair of hip boots, dang a pair of snake boots. If you that scared of snakes, stay in the house. That's all I can tell you. I had to get a snake out my shed the other day. 
And quite frankly, if I was to get bit by a snake, I probably wouldn't be living no more. Cause where I'm at, usually at, I'm a couple miles away from any pickup. And then you're a long ways off from any hospital. But it is what it is. I'm not scared of snakes. As long as they don't bite me, I'm in good shape. This is Big Pencil. And we will be back with another one soon.